I'm going to play two audio clips and I want you to take your best guess as to which is AI generated. Here goes our first clip. <sighs> okay, look, I don't know why you called me here, but I really am not ready to be here right now. I got very important things to do. So, uh, can I go? And here goes our second clip. Take a deep breath. Embrace the stillness within and let your spirit find peace. Which of these do you think is AI generated? Let me know your best guess in the comments. And the very first comment to get the answer right gets a free one year subscription to the tool we're about to talk about. I'm gonna be revealing the answers later on in the video. And I'm talking about 11 Labs, which is arguably one of the best text to speech tool that exists out there today. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you an overview of everything you need to know to use the tool, from creating basic text to speech, to cloning your voice so that the voices sound like you, to dubbing and even creating full audiobooks projects using this tool. To get started with the tool, you want to head over to 11labs.io and create a free account. You get about 5,000 free tokens that you can use each month. Now let's start with some basic text-to-speech. It's quite simple. You have your text-to-speech box right here and I'm going to type in a simple example using Chris. And let's hear what that sounds like. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. So as you can see, that voice sounds quite realistic and it's that simple. If you click on right here, you can select different voices that they have. And I'm going to show you how you can even search for more later on in the video. But let me show you some tips and tricks you can use to get uh, more realistic, natural sounding voices. So I'm going to redo some of these. And one of the first things I'm going to do is that I'm going to put a question mark where he asked the first question and put a little bit of three dots so that there's a bit of a pause. And then I want him to emphasize the word guts. So that's why I've put some quotes around those words guts. Now let's see how that sounds compared to the first one that we just had. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. So you can see that's a little bit more natural. He paused when I wanted him to pause. And then you can see that the guts was a little bit more emphasized. And sometimes if you do not get the particular tones that you like or you don't like that, you can simply just regenerate. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. So you can see there was a little bit of a variation in that second generation that we just did. All right, let's go ahead and try another voice. This time around, I'm going to try a female voice and let's play an example of a dramatic dialogue. You said you'd always be there for me. But when the chips were down, when I looked over my shoulder, where were you? This city chewed me up and you watched, sipping on your half-calf latte. All right, you can see how that sounded very natural and very real. All right, next, let's go over voice settings and some of the settings you can do to further tune the voice to sound realistic. So I'm going to click on voice settings and stability just shows how constant do you want your voice to sound. So if you want it to keep having monotone, the same tone throughout, you can crank this up all the way and that voice is always going to have the same tone. There's not going to be much emotion. If you want it to be very variable, you can crank this down and I'm going to crank this down like really to 10 so that you can really see that. And then similarity is like how similar do you want the voice to sound to the actual voice that was used to sample this. Uh, you can always crank that out. So for this, I typically leave it the same as what it is, uh, the default settings, unless you have any specific reason to do that. But let's generate that voice again, this time around with the stability all the way down and let's see what that sounds like. You said you'd always be there for me. So you can see that for me. So let's go ahead and generate it one more time. You, because the stability is low, we should get a much variable difference when we do that. You said you'd always be there for me. So you can see every time I regenerate it, there's a lot of dynamics in how it's generating that. So you can always crank that down if you're trying to get a certain tone and keep regenerating until you get exactly what it is you're looking for from the two. So you can play around with punctuations to actually get the AI to try to give the emotions you want. But sometimes you have very specific ways you want the AI to speak. That's where the speech to speech option comes in, where you can actually act out how you want the AI to speak and it will speak with those same emotions. Let's go ahead and try that. You can upload an audio file that's already recorded on your computer or you can actually go ahead and record it. This time around, I am going to record the voice in real time and let's see how that sounds. Oh no! You were not supposed to put that there. This is going to be interesting. Then I'm going to click generate speech. Oh no! You were not supposed to put that there. This is going to be interesting. This is really perfect for when you're doing animations, some kind of scripted play and you want the, uh, the voice acting to be in very certain ways, you can use this functionality and get that sounding exactly how you want it to sound. 
All right, next, I'm going to show you how you can clone your voice so that the AI actually sounds like you. And this is very exciting uh, if you're using this for audiobooks and things like that. To do that, you simply just want to go to voices. Under voices, there are several things you can do. This is where you can also explore other voices. If you do not see what you like, they have a library of hundreds of voices here which you can filter by different categories and different styles uh but that's not what we're trying to do right now i'm going to show you how to clone your own voice to add your voice into the ai tool and to do that it's quite simple you just want to click right here on clone voice and there are two options to do that there is the professional cloning which we'll get to that in a second and it's what's called an instant voice cloning the instant voice cloning happens instantly and you need just about one to two minutes of yourself uh recording for it to generate that so i'm just going to click on instant voice cloning and all you do is simply record yourself speaking or you can upload an audio file give it a name you know i can call this e-crown or whatever it is i want to call the voice and just click to agree and then simply add that voice and just like that it's going to generate that voice and add it to your library let's see what that sounds like Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Adobe Character Animator. So as you can see, that sounded like me, but it's not perfectly there. That's where the professional voice cloning comes into play. In this case, they train a model which is trained on your voice. So they require a lot more data between 30 minutes to two hours of your voice recording. And they also require that you verify your voice. So there's a process you go through to do voice verification to make sure that it's actually you who has the rights to that voice. Because these ones sound very, very indistinguishable from the real voice. I already went ahead to do mine here. So I'm not gonna show you how to do that right now, but we're gonna use it as an example for you to see the difference between the instant clone and the professional voice clone. Hello everyone, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Adobe Character Animator. So as you can see, that one sounds pretty much like me, very scarily actually. But I could see the benefits of this, you know, if I wanted to do an audiobook or do a tutorial where I do not want to speak, maybe I made an error, I can simply just type it out here to fix that without having to go back into the studio to set up my mics to record. So this is very, very valuable, especially if you're trying to do an audiobook. Next, let's talk about a feature that's called dubbing. And this is what allows you to upload a video and then it's gonna clone your voice the way we did with the instant clone and translate it to whatever language you ask it to translate to. So it's gonna be you speaking whatever, in my case, English, and I can translate it to be sounding like me speaking in French or in another language. And to use that, you simply wanna just click on the dubbing tab and there are several options. You can give your project a name and I'll just call this example. And you can ask it to either detect the source language or specify. In my case, I'll specify that I'm speaking in English. And the target language is, we could say Spanish. Let's try to translate that to Spanish. And there's several sources that you can use for the video. So you can just put a URL link to the video itself from all these social platforms or upload it. So in this case, I'm gonna actually upload an audio clip from my computer from a tutorial that I am currently working on. So and let's play that to see what I was actually saying in the tutorial. All right, now that you know what this is, let's go ahead and start interacting with it. To interact, so as you can see, I'm speaking English, so we're just gonna go ahead and click on create. Let's hear what that sounds like, me speaking English, but sounding like I'm speaking Spanish. Muy bien, ahora que sabes qué es esto, vamos a empezar a interactuar con él. Para interactuar con ChatGPT, simplemente usa este cuadro de texto aquí y escribe, escribe tus preguntas en... So as you can see, that is still my voice, my tone, but I am speaking Spanish. It doesn't do the lip sync. If you want one that does the actual lip syncing, I have another video on that. I'm going to link that down below in the description that shows you how you can actually do the lip sync so that it actually sounds like your lips are moving in connection or in sync with the voice. Finally, I want to talk to you about something called projects. Now, this is used when you have long form audio that you want to generate. So you have an entire audio book that you want to generate. This helps you to break that into chapters, correct things, fix them to generate your entire audio book. Or maybe you have a podcast you're trying to create and you want to use this. That's where projects come in. So I'm going to go to the projects tab. To create a new project, it's quite simple. You just simply want to click on create new project. Uh, it asks you if you want to start with an empty project from a document or uh, from a URL. In my case, I'm going to click from a URL and then I'm going to head over here and just copy out this link to a blog by 11 Labs talking about how this author used 11 Labs for our audiobooks. And then I'm going to go next. I'm going to put, uh, I'll call this my podcast. And then I'm just going to put a link to that blog post here 
and it's going to ask you uh, what voice you want to use for this. Uh, we're just going to go ahead with Danielle. That's fine. The quality uh, ultra high. Or uh, you can choose the different qualities that you want to use. You need a higher plan to do that. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to click on create. So what it's going to do is that it's going to go to this website and scrape all this text and pull them into my project so we can start transcribing them. And we have several options. We can format this. Uh, you can go ahead and add another chapter. So let's say this is an audiobook. Uh, I can add another chapter this time around. Instead of from a URL, I'll just say an empty chapter and just call this chapter two. And when I head over to chapter two, you can then, you know, type in your text or upload it in there. Let's go back to chapter one uh, in our case. And there are two ways to convert this to audio. Now, in order to not burn your entire credit, uh, the best way to do this is you can generate them in bits. So in my case, I'll generate it in bits. I'm going to click on play. So it's going to convert just this section into uh text to speech and I can verify it and validate it. If I like it, then I can move to the next section. Liana is a successful writer and online businesswoman based in New Zealand. With a repertoire of over 44 published novels and a regular readership well into the tens of thousands, Liana is passionate. So that sounds good. If I like it, I can continue doing that one by one. But again, if you have a book that is maybe 50, 100 pages and you don't want to keep doing that one after the other, you can simply just click on convert. And this is going to convert the entire chapter of the book in the entire project for you. And what happens is after it does that, you can listen to it. And if you don't like it, you can click on a particular section. And right here in this little icon, you can click on regenerate to regenerate that section until you get it sounding the way you want to. So for example, maybe I don't like the way it said New Zealand. I wanted more emphasis on it. I can come and put quotes on that and then ask it to regenerate just that section. So it's just going to generate that section and not the entire audiobook. So this makes it just easy for you to manage a workflow whereby you have a large project, podcast, audiobooks, and things like that. This is very great for that. And once you're done with all of that, you can simply download uh, your project. Uh, of course, it's going to ask you to convert. In my case, I have some few texts that have not been converted, but in order for me not to burn my entire credit, I'm not going to convert that, but it just downloads it for you in the format of an audio file, which you can then upload uh, in different other places or distribute it anyhow you want to distribute it. All right, for the big reveal to the quiz we did in the beginning, actually, both of those voices were both AI generated. Did you get it? Didn't you get it? I'm going to be checking down in the comments. The first comment that gets it right, I'm going to be sending you instructions on how you can get your free uh, credit to the pro version of 11 Labs. Like I said, it's free. You can use it for free, but the pro version gives you more tokens and a few more features. I'm going to give you one year subscription to that so you can use that for whatever product it is that you're trying to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this. I'm going to be catching you in the next one. Make sure you keep learning. Oh,